Uh, good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, identification and evaluation of uh, digital uh, of digital printing inks for the purpose of forensic analysis. Uh, presented by me, Al Sharif Hashim Mujahid, forgery and counterfeiting expert, Ministry of Justice, Egypt. Let me introduce myself. My name is Al Sharif Hashim. Uh, I have been working as forensic document examiner since uh, 2007. I have been uh, a corresponding member of the American Society of Question Document Examiner since uh, August 2018. Uh, also uh, a corresponding member of the uh, Australian Society of uh, Forensic Document Examiner since February 2020, 20, uh, to, uh, 2021, uh, active and uh, also member of the advisory board of IASR. I have divided my presentation into five points. Firstly, introduction. Secondly, overview on uh, digital printing and counterfeit uh, protection system code, which include viewing, extraction, and measuring. Uh, after that, uh, methods and materials, which include two techniques, uh, physical techniques and uh, spectroscopic techniques. Then uh, cases study. Uh, finally, conclusion. Let's start with uh, introduction. Uh, printers can be divided into impact printer and non-impact printer. By the mid of 1990s, impact print uh, printers were being rapidly replaced by non-impact printer models. As you know, tradi uh, tra traditional uh, printing uh, can be divided into uh, relief printing, uh, which include letter press, uh, engraved printing, uh, which include uh, intaglio uh, uh, or gravure, planar printing, which include offset uh, lithography or waterless offset. Digital printing uh, mainly can be uh, divided into inkjet printing and laser printing. As shown in, in uh, the, the picture, the, the, the mechanism of uh, inkjet and laser printer. According to machine data sheet of toner composition of, uh, of cartridge of uh, printer, laser printer, uh, there is a lot of component, mainly binding agent, which uh, include styrene acrylate, uh, polystyrene, polyester resin terephthalate, base vinyl A, epoxy, and coloring agent in monocolor. Uh, uh, the black, the black, uh, carbon black is the coloring agent in monocolor uh, laser printer. Uh, uh, as you know, in coloring agent in uh, in laser in color laser printer, uh, which contains CMYK. Uh, yellow color uh, can be uh, from uh, anthraquinone uh, quinone, uh, compounds, azometal com uh, complex, uh, methane com uh, compounds like pigment yellow 12. Magenta uh, can be uh, from uh, condensation azo compounds, uh, anthraquinone compounds, nafsol compounds uh, like pigment red 2. Cyan. Uh, from copper uh, phthalocyanin compounds derivatives and uh, anthraquinones, uh, which uh, may be pigment blue uh, one. Under, uh, under high magnification, laser printer uh, shows the morphology. The laser, uh, this picture shows the morphology of the laser printing stroke of both monochromic and color one. Uh, as you see in this picture, there is uh, in the black uh, one, there is uh, like dusty dots, dusty dots in the uh, high magnification, uh, and uh, for one for one color for mono uh, monochromic, and uh, on the other hand, <clears throat> on the other hand, uh, uh, color laser printing shows four colors C M Y K. Uh, uh, like dusty dots. 
Uh, after the Egyptian revolution of uh, 20, uh, two, uh, 25 Janu January uh, 2011, we noticed that the number of the counterfeiting money by the by leather printer, printers is increased. The need to how uh, uh, the need to know how to examine uh, color laser printers and copiers is increased. Let's talk about the numbers, as stated. Uh, in uh, Europol annual report on Euro counterfeiting 2018, that the, uh, they showed the, the number of counterfeit bank, banknotes produced by using offset as uh, main reproduction method has decreased since 2015, when offset accounted for uh, 82 uh, 82% 82 of counterfeits in 2016. 64% of detected counterfeits in circulation were produced using the offset techniques. In 2017, 52%. Uh, uh, in uh, 2018, offset have a share of 36%. On the other hand, toner and uh, inkjet counterfeits have continued to replace offset rising to 59% uh, of detection and circulation in 2018 from 18% in uh, 2015. According to, uh, uh, or as stated in uh, Interpol uh, website, US global uh, counterfeit currency, uh, US dollar pieces discovered in 2000. Uh, 19 with Interpol uh, member countries by statutory region, uh, there is a, a mass uh, increased in uh, in digital uh, printing in Africa. Also, as stated in uh, website of uh, the Interpol, Euro in pieces discovered in 2019 with Interpol member uh, country. Uh, there is a huge amount of uh, digital uh, printing uh, techniques uh, used in counterfeiting currency in Africa, uh, which, which means there is uh, there is a need to how to examine uh, digital printing techniques. As mentioned in Dilaru. Uh, you know, uh, you know, Dilaru uh, company is uh, uh, is a big company for uh, produce for for br br producing the uh, banknote in cent to central banks. Uh, they showed uh, the counterfeiters uh, uh, continue to adapt to a changing technology. Uh, the the picture uh, showed the mig the migration from color. Uh, copiers in 1990s uh, to inkjet uh, in uh, millennium uh, and two color laser uh, printer in 2010s. The rapidly increase of uh, non-impact models uh, leads to increased counterfeiting uh, crime. Uh, manufacturers and law enforcement agencies decided to put an end to the use of color laser printers and copiers as a tool of counterfeiting crime using two strategies. First one, currency recognition system, uh, uh, and uh, the other, uh, copier printer identification system. Uh, currency recognition system identification uh, involved, involved the installation of a chip which was programmed to recognize a designated portion of currency and valuable documents. If someone tried to copy a currency, the, the copier would spoil the image and make it useless to the counterfeiter. Uh, second one, copier printer identification system or a tracking system. Each color laser uh, machine add a code to uh, its print out. This could identify which color laser printing machine used. This could contain the manufacturer uh, model and serial number of the laser printing machine. 
let's uh, let's uh, uh, let's give uh, short notes about a counterfeit protection system code it's called yolo dots or uh, tracking dots micro uh, patterns almost not all all color laser printers and photocopiers made an embedded patterns of small yolo dots this code made for tracking on every brand, uh, branded out. This code consists of a unique pattern of yellow dots that is nearly invisible for the unaided human eye. The pattern is distributed on the entire service of document, but may be overbranded by text or other document, uh, uh, document uh, content. Let's start off viewing uh, counterfeit protection system code uh, as our strategy. Uh, there are two broad methods for viewing one of them, uh, for viewing one of them, the ordinary method, and the other with using forensic, forensic tool. The ordinary method, which depends on simple tools, uh, may be blue light and input scanner tool, uh, and available uh, image uh, processing software such as Adobe Photoshop and Jim, Jim uh, Gun Photoshop, uh, it can be used. It can be used uh, to view the invisible unique pattern of counterfeit protection system codes. The scanner mode uh, document are scanned in color with minimum resolution of uh, 600 dpi and save it in GBG format. We have used processing software like GIMP as following step. Another one of viewing methods, uh, the forensic tool using video uh, spectral comparator, uh, VSC methods or similar uh, instrument. The toner dot pattern can be visualized by using the hyperspectral blue region uh, at uh, 470 nanometer, as uh, the zoom and focus are at its closest, greatest magnification setting. As you see in this picture, we used in uh, Egyptian Central Lab uh, VSC regular 4307. Uh, uh, we used it in hyperspectral mode to uh, to viewing the counterfeit protection system code uh, by using forensic tool. Firstly, we must determine repeated unit. As you see, reverse L or uh, three dot patterns, repeated uh, unit. Secondly, determine both horizontal and vertical uh, vertical, uh, vertical distance between two adjacent repeated unit. Previous case study, the identification of color photocopiers as a case study, uh, class characteristic of counterfeit protection system codes of color laser copiers by Janus Tweedy 2001. 2001 and the differentiation of color laser printers by Sheng et al. The previous uh, publication reported that the presence of the unique repeated dotted pattern on the printed uh, printouts by some brands of color copiers and printers that could be utilized, uh, utilized for the identification of any individual color copiers and printers. We used uh, uh, Janus Tweedy methodology, a class characteristic uh, of counterfeit protection system codes uh, uh, of color laser copiers. Janus class, uh, classified printer uh, copiers according to a vertical pattern separation distance and pattern type into 12 category, start from 0.16 inch uh, to uh, one point uh, 28 uh, inches. Uh, moving to materials and methods, we collect uh, samples of laser, uh, samples, uh, 15 samples of laser printing machine 
uh, were collected as shown uh, on the table uh, from uh, various uh, brands and uh, series uh, from Toshiba, Samsung, Epson, HP, Xerox, and we used also refilling ink, refilling tunnel. We used uh, as a physical techniques, regular mag mouse as qualitative analysis. According to uh, the, the presence of iron in the toner or not, classified toner uh, to uh, mono component or uh, dowel component. Mono component, which include the, uh, the, the iron in the high percentage. And dowel component, uh, maybe no, uh, no percent of uh, iron in, in this uh, type. As you, uh, as you see in these uh, pictures, consider a document made a laser printer in a protected from uh, 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 form and to compare the optical image and the magnetic image, uh, next a comparison of the text of the table with reference to the drawing. Thus, it's obvious that uh, magnetic optical image is an informative source of data on the fine structure of uh, magnetic printing, which makes it possible to use the interpretation of the topography of the magnetic relief of printing for solving the problems of the uh, technical examination of document. As you see in this picture, there is two pictures in the, in the left-hand side uh, optical image and uh, on the other side, uh, magneto-optical uh, image. Uh, observed the multicolored uh, printing, uh, observed colors are depend from spectral characteristics, uh, characteristics, uh, characteristics of ink paint. Image uh, resolution allows to see the separate uh, dots or dusty dots printing and other small scale uh, laser printing looks uh, a flat uh, and uh, monotonic black in the uh, optical image. Uh, in the other side, uh, we uh, we uh, we absorbed only monochromatic magnetic particles of uh, printing. Observed uh, brightness are depend from magnetization magnetization of ink and paint black and white maximum of uh, opposite uh, fields. Image resolution allow to see the separate uh, dots of laser printing toner. Laser printing looks relief texture and the gray scale in magneto optical image. We used also spectroscopic techniques. We used FTIR as qualitative analysis which divided uh, our samples, uh, uh, samples used uh, into uh, two groups, polystyrene uh, acrylate, uh, uh, which include Epson uh, 5 refilling toner, uh, HB color, Xerox, uh, Xerox type, uh, and the group two, uh, polyester tilfacillate base vinyl A, uh, which include uh, Toshiba six six types or, or six brands of uh, or six series of Toshiba uh, brand and Samsung. We used uh, uh, same edicts as uh, quantitative technique. As you know, uh, same edicts is a service technique, uh, which give uh, a, a a picture or an image for the elemental analysis of the collected samples. Also, we used XRF spectroscopy as a quantitative technique, which is high sensitive for, for give a whole picture of elements which included in the collected sample. Uh, and as you know, the difference between same edX and uh, XRF 
sim edx is a service technique and xrf is a bulk technique we used as mentioned before vsc regular to viewing counterfeit protection system code using hyper specter as a new techniques uh, as uh, non destructive uh, as qualitative uh, analysis for coloring uh, for color uh, laser printing uh, laser printer we uh, collect 20 color laser printer samples were collected as shown uh, on the table uh, 11 of them hp and 9 rico uh, 9 rico Janus Tweedy methodology, we found a magic clue in Janus paper to solve our case study. We have confirmed her result by collecting known samples, especially from HP and Rico color laser printers brands. We also measured uh, horizontal pattern separation distance and the numbers of rows and columns. We applied our strategies of viewing extraction, measurement, and classification on the uh, HB uh, brands color laser printer. We found that when we examined collected samples uh, HB, we found that each pattern begin with three dots triangle. Some articles or some uh, literature review called it reverse L as shown you know, uh, uh, in the uh, HB. The, the main characteristic, each pattern begins with a three dot uh, pattern, uh, dot uh, triangle dots uh, or reverse L. The horizontal pattern separation distance equals 0.54 inches in all samples. And vertical pattern separation distance equals 0.69 inches. On the top six, uh, six vertical lines, there is always a repeating V-like shape. As shown in the tri uh, triangle, there is a V-like shape. This coding pattern is an array of 16 times 20 dots. When we applied uh, our strategy of viewing extraction, uh, measurement, classification on RICO type uh, collected uh, sample, we found that the RICO codes pattern look like complete pattern blocks in a, an arrangement that moves from lower left to the upper right. Each pattern begin with a two dots in all samples. We found also uh, horizontal pattern separation distance and vertical pattern separation distance equals 0, uh, 0 0.64 inches. This coding blocks is an array of seven times eight dots totaling uh, uh, 56 uh, points or sites. Moving to cases study. First case study, when public uh, persecutors uh, have uh, has submitted uh, one question notes and asked about type of counterfeiting and tools used in the counterfeiting. We applied our strategy of viewing extraction and measurement and classification. We found that there is a three dots or reverse L repeated units that we measured uh, uh, horizontal pattern separation distance equals 0 0.54 inch and vertical pattern separation distance which equals 0.69 uh, inch. Second case study, when submitted uh, question color laser printers or copiers and 
which nut and asked about which one produced these uh, nuts. He asked about the source of counterfeiting. We must establish association between printing machine and printing products. Uh, in the left uh, hand side, uh, we, uh, we uh, look at seized printer and the other side, the uh, counterfeited uh, seized uh, notes. We must firstly, uh, first we must take print out from machine, uh, uh, seized uh, machine or question machine and apply our strategy in this and uh, uh, get repeated unit and uh, measurement. And we must uh, establish the association between multiple uh, multiple uh, printed uh, products or seized uh, paper. We found that there is a, a, a repeated unit uh, with triangle uh, three dots or reverse L. We measured the vertical pattern separation distance and horizontal separation distance, we found that the vertical better separation distance equal 0.69 inch and horizontal uh, better separation distance equal 0.54 inch. From the results, we, uh, we approved that the use of HB printer Other uh, seized document, we found that there is a three dots repeated unit, vertically and horizontally. The measurement uh, showed that the horizontal uh, pattern separation distance equals 0.54 uh, inches and vertical pattern separation distance equal 0.69, which means that undergrow uh, HB printer. From previous, non samples uh, from the seized color laser printer are taken, and uh, a comparison shows that the pattern from the question printouts is identical to that uh, from the color laser printer. Then, question color laser printer identified as the source of the question document, uh, the question document or seized. Moving to uh, the third case study, when he submitted counterfeited notes with the same serial number and asked ask about their source for archiving, uh, uh, for archiving, is it uh, from one printer or not? We applied our uh, techniques, viewing extraction, we found that one of them uh, include uh, united, uh, repeated units with uh, three dots or reverse L. And we measured the horizontal pattern separation distance equals 0.54 inches. And vertical pattern separation distance equals 0.54. Uh, uh, 69 inches. Other notes include two dot repeated unit distance and vertical pattern separation distance are equals o, uh, o point o point uh, 64 inches which mean that undergrow Riku type printer. We found in first and second, uh, first, second uh, and second cases study, non samples have the same vertical pattern separation distance uh, equals 0.69 inch and the same horizontal pattern separation distance uh, 0.54 inch, which means that undergo uh, HB uh, color uh, color laser printers uh, class characteristics uh, and in the in the third case study we found one of them 
have the same vertical patterns, which equals 0.64 inches, which means that the case, uh, uh, case study undergo uh, uh, eco color laser printers uh, class characteristic. In a second uh, case study, we can't get individuality of printer, which used to print out counterfeiting note. We found in the third case study, we can differentiate between two counterfeiting notes with the same uh, serial number by using uh, counterfeit protection system code. Moving to re result and discussion, uh, we used uh, spectroscopic uh, techniques, include H uh, FTIR as qualitative analysis for uh, all samples, collected samples, uh, toner samples. Uh, FTIR give us uh, or, uh, or divided it into two groups. As shown in the group one, uh, the main bands present in the spectra related to the polymer, which used to uh, manufacture uh, the toner of Xerox uh, export, the bands between uh, 3,100 uh, and 3,000 uh, are due to uh, CH uh, bond stretching of aromatic uh, protons. Uh, sharp bands at uh, uh, and uh, bands at uh, uh, 1,630 and 1,493 and uh, 1,004 uh, further confirm the aromatasty. Absorption bands at uh, 756 and uh, 698, uh, which are due to uh, out of plane blending of five adjacent hydrogen uh, on the aromatic corresponding to the uh, two strongest band in the uh, polystyrene uh, spectrum. All the above uh, absorption uh, are dominant features of the uh, vinyl group, which very close to the spectra of polystyrene. Also, mesacrylate polymer showed two, uh, two pairs of high characteristic absorption bands in, uh, in the 1200 uh, region. Uh, this band occur as partially resolved uh, doublets with the first pair near uh, uh, 1270 and uh, 1247, uh, and the second pair near uh, 1190 and 1150. The set of absorption bands has been assigned to COC bond uh, uh, stretching vibration and uh, of the ester part of the molecule. This suggests that or agent in uh, Xerox type uh, is polystyrene mesacrylate copolymer resin. Uh, uh, on the other hand, group two, uh, the band at uh, 1720 is uh, the obtained uh, in the obtained is uh, in the obtained spectra is assigned to the characteristic seedle point or carbonyl group stretching vibration uh, in the ester compound. The bands at uh, 800, uh, 830 and 1510 is assigned to uh, C double bond o, uh, OH stretching, uh, stretching which uh, denotes uh, the presence of this vinyl A. The COC stretching vibration peak, which corresponding to resin based on terephthalate, uh, is observed at uh, 1270. Uh, the peak at 1244 is assigned to C, uh, COC stretching in the ethers. Uh, this confirms that the binding agent in multifunction 
Toshiba and uh, and Samsung uh, is poly polyester terfacelate polyester terfacelate uh, bisphenol co polymer resin. Moving to quantitative analysis, we illustrated uh, this uh, chart. Uh, the journey start uh, from 15 digital printing laser uh, printing uh, printing machines. When used, uh, when we used uh, qualitative analysis with uh, regular mouse and FTIR, uh, regular mouse divided the uh, 15 uh, digital printing machine into two types. Uh, one of them uh, mono component uh, with percent 33.3 uh, 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 and double component uh, with percent uh, uh, 60, uh, 66.7 percent. Uh, FTIR classified our examples or uh, our uh, collected samples into two types or, or, or into two groups. Uh, first one, uh, group one uh, include polyester terfacelate ter uh, ter uh, bisphenol A and the other uh, polystyrene misacrylate. The, there is two different groups. We we want to uh, to uh, to uh, more examination give uh, analysis for to uh, to these groups. We used qualitative analysis by using same edX and uh, XRF to give uh, the uh, the whole image for the element used in the production of fifteen digital printer uh, laser printing. Uh, according the the result, there is uh, a groups uh, of uh, uh, of uh, high percentage of iron, and the other one uh, the the high percentage uh, to uh, silicon and titanium by using semedix. And uh, when used uh, when we used uh, XRF. Uh, the groups uh, uh, give a lot, uh, 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 give uh, 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 a whole picture for the elemental uh, which used in the production of 15, uh, of 15 uh, laser printing samples. Uh, every, every, uh, every, uh, every uh, laser printer machine uh, as a fingerprint, which include uh, a huge number of element with uh, percent. There is a last uh, case study. Uh, we used, we applied uh, the qualitative techniques in home uh, constituent uh, list. Uh, in this case, the forger uh, uh, inserted the third page, which wasn't present in the original uh, document. We uh, we discovered the using regular mouse, uh, which uh, used to detect magnetic properties of toner, two different laser uh, used uh, to produce the forged document. Uh, this video shows uh, this case study. The first page, there is no uh, magnetic properties. Shows it uh, like flat uh, in the screen. And uh, uh, other pages shows the magnetic properties. As showing uh, the magnetic optical image on the screen. which confirms there is a uh, beige substitution or beige insertion in this, uh, in this uh, contract.
magnetic optical image. Finally, conclusion. We can conclude that the polymer uh, composition and the elemental composition of group one and group uh, two were differentiated based on their FTR, SIM edX, and XRF uh, spectra, respectively, and classified using the unique dotted pattern of counterfeit uh, protection system code. The binding agent in toner are uh, copolymer produced from styrene acrylate in group one and polyester triphosylate and bisphenol uh, A in group two. Using combined uh, analytic uh, analytical methods, FTIR, SIM, EDX, uh, and XRF, allowed for further differentiation of toners. We used a unique dotted pattern of cut, uh, counterfeit protection system code as a non-destructive technique in differentiating and discriminating between group one and group two, uh, 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 determining and extracting a unique pattern uh, system of counterfeit protection system code uh, of 20 color laser printer uh, help in identifying the class characteristic of color laser printing uh, machines which were used to produce them. The order of sensitivity of uh, detecting element is uh, ordering uh, XRF, uh, then same edX spectroscopy. Uh, the order of uh, sensitivity of detecting, uh, de uh, detecting uh, magnetic toner uh, I percentage in uh, is uh, XRF then same edX, then uh, uh, magmouse, which the last which the last one is very important to categorize the toner sample into mono component magnetic toner and dual component non magnetic toner as a qualitative uh, non destructive techniques, but the the others can give the individuality of uh, magnetic toner by determining uh, the percentage of uh, iron in each sample as a fingerprint. Our working group suggested the uh, toner profiling scheme to analyze any toner sample which can be used in law enforcement agencies uh, or related governmental sectors. Uh, when, uh, when we uh, delivered a color laser machine, there is uh, two, uh, two questions. Is, uh, is it uh, monocolor or colored? If it uh, colored, uh, is it uh, include counterfeit protection system code or not? Uh, if, uh, if, it if it included the counterfeit protection system code, is it uh, faint or uh, clear? Allow, uh, whether it faint, uh, uh, we applied uh, uh, spectroscopic analysis. If it clear, uh, we we must uh, determine uh, pattern shape, the distance, horizontal pattern separation distance. We must uh, first we must re uh, determine uh, repeated unit uh, and the distance. Horizontal pattern separation distance and vertical pattern separation distance, and the pattern uh, type uh, is it uh, uh, constant per page or changeable per page? Uh, if it constant, is it uh, regular or uh, irregular? Uh, if is it uh, uh, changeable per page, uh, regular or uh, not irregular? Monotype, uh, mono, monochromatic uh, or monochromic uh, laser printing. Uh, there is a new technique uh, from Toshiba, uh, uh, the erasable toner blue, and there is a machine a hybrid. And uh, the traditional one uh, for monochromic uh, laser printing is a black. Uh, we applied firstly the mag mouse techniques. Uh, to uh, to identify is it uh, mono or uh, double uh, uh, component, and after that uh, uh, applied spectroscopic techniques. Uh, this study shows the effectiveness of using counterfeit protection system code as a forensic uh, physical techniques 
to differentiate between the color laser printing machine as well as for archiving and linking between question document and seized uh, laser printing machine. Thanks for your patience. Uh, and thanks to Dr. Ranjit uh, Singh and uh, all uh, friends uh, like Mondir Singh, uh, Deepak Handa, uh, Kumal Sainai, uh, I saw all of them in the uh, 